So you want to monetize your YouTube channel. Yeah, who doesn't? And you want it to be easy and somewhat duplicatable. Yeah, I bet. Seriously? All right, you got my attention, kid. Here's some tips on how you can monetize your YouTube channel without going viral. The first thing is to make sure your subs feel uplifted and motivated. Good morning, venters. How are you? It's time for good story time. Yeah. Yeah. It's time for good story time. So check this out. What do you want to be fat your whole life? Let's go. Lazy ass. And if you have a motivational channel, make sure you never let them give up. Literally tell them, don't give up with these goddamn lazy people. Unbelievable. <laughs> don't let YouTube create your thumbnail. Invest in a Canva account. You can make great thumbnails there for absolutely nothing. And if you're gonna invest in anything in your life, invest in yourself by getting a pro account just gives you a couple more options to make your job that much easier. In addition to Canva, you can also look into Premiere Pro and DaVinci. And speaking of DaVinci, I had DaVinci robotic hernia surgery. You guys want to see my really cool scars? But you need to know a couple things. Number one, YouTube doesn't necessarily want to remain just YouTube. They actually want to be a number one choice for you and your family when you're watching television. That's right, what we used to go on the computer to watch and then went, ended up going to mobile with our phones is now available on your TV. So instead of five minute videos, ditch those, definitely ditch the 30 second videos on TikTok and focus more on half hour videos. That way YouTube can consider you when it comes to their TV selections. Jesse, is that true? I don't know, but whenever you say something, say it with confidence, stick out your chest, say it with your chest. I think one of the first things that you should consider when doing a YouTube channel is converting your hobby into your channel itself. So walking makes complete sense for me for my channel, but it might not make sense for you. So ask yourself this, besides watching nudies all the time and playing video games, what type of hobbies do you have and do you think they would make for an interesting YouTube channel? Damn, all you do is watch nudies and play video games? All right, then maybe TikTok is a better future route for you to take than YouTube. They only need 30 second videos. Upload daily. If you have subs that love your content, they'll literally watch you every day. But Jesse, I'm not very interesting. I don't know if I can do a show every day. Don't worry, I'm not interesting either. That's why YouTube is so hard. Jesus Christ, it's hot out here. Carrying this 30 pound camera, fudge. Jeez Louise. Now you must be dedicated and your show and channel must make sense. For example, if you do an exercise video, you should be good looking. The good news is you don't have to be good looking for walking. It's really no big deal. My fans don't care. You don't need to be handsome to give great advice. Keep moving. Keep the donuts from your lips. Keep the donuts from your lips and put your shoes on. Let's go. So I live in Arizona. Do I want to be walking and uploading every day when I live in this heat? Yeah, believe it or not, I do. But a lot of times I wish I were alone. You know, this camera weighs 30 pounds. Why don't you do me a favor? Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Now that's called a call to action. If you think you could handle that, hit the thumbs up button to prove that you can. And yes, you are more interesting than about 90% of the established YouTube channels. But here's the problem. 94% of people don't care. So they're never gonna give you a chance. So quit crying and just keep uploading. Don't quit. It's important that you keep on schedule. Your crappy video is expected tomorrow, just like mine is. Keep them aware of interesting facts and tips. You know, water is wet. <laughs> Water is a liquid. For example, a half hour walk burns about 150 calories if you walk faster than most people, which you don't. On the other hand, there's 150 calories in Coca-Cola. So what does that mean? It means every time you walk half an hour, you're going to finish off a Coca-Cola. 
wait a minute, I said that wrong. You're gonna burn the calories from a Coca-Cola. That way when you get home, you can drink a Coca-Cola. When you find yourself wanting to quit, don't think quit and throw your hands up at the air. Instead, think back to the lab again. There's no reason why you can't come up with a better video than that shitstorm video you came up with last time. Before you hit 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subs, you'll hit 3,000 watch hours and 500 subs, and it'll enable you to set up your merch shop where you can sell really cool shirts like this one. Hey Jesse, how come your shirt looks more like John Stamos than you? I don't know, but I like it and so do girls. Hey, 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 eyes up here, eyes up here. In your off time, when you're not doing your YouTube channel, you can still be thinking of things like catchy titles. Your title is what people are gonna type into the search window. So ask yourself this the next time you're looking for a video and you use the search window. What words are you typing to pop up that video you want? And make sure you put that in your title. All right, what do I think of this title? Keep walking, you lazy bum. I think that's a winner. One of my viewers, Sean, he came up with this saying that we use as a battle cry. The walk must go on. Yeah, it's raining, Sean. Thanks a lot. Give your subs a name. My show is called Walk Talk Vent, so I call my subscribers and viewers the venters. You like that? Walkers uh, was asking a little too much. There's no guarantee that any of my viewers are actually walking. Odds are they aren't. <laughs> so again, the key to a channel having success is it must be duplicatable, not by others, but by you. Whenever you can find a hobby that you can duplicate and talk about endlessly, that might just be your niche or niche, your niche. And don't be afraid to tell jokes. Yo mama is so fat. Do you think you could tell her about my channel and have her subscribe? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is another call to action. Do you think you could hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for me? Thanks. Sometimes when you have a walking channel, you'll have shoes that give you blisters on the back of your ankles. So sometimes you have to walk barefoot. Yeah, make sure you can handle it. Ah, Jesus Christ. Who put that rock there? Son of a bitch. Anyway, I want you guys to know it's never easy. It's tough being a YouTuber. Sometimes you put up a video that you put a lot of work and energy into, people don't like it. You might think that's unfair, and it is, but then you realize it probably sucked anyway. It's hot out here. If you have a super fan that watches every one of your videos from beginning to end, then why wouldn't you wanna upload as much as possible to take advantage of that super fan's loyalty and enjoyment of your videos? In addition to that, that super fan giving you a thumbs up and sharing your video is going to equate to it getting pushed out to even more people so that hopefully you can find even more super fans. Anybody can get subs if they have a video that goes viral. But remember, I'm teaching you how to do things where you don't go viral. I'm a walker doing walking videos. There's a chance I might never go viral. But if you look at the top walking videos, some of them have 25 million views. That's crazy. What does that equate to for me? A little hopium. You can never have enough hopium. And believe me, as a YouTuber, you're gonna need to overdose on hopium. So let's talk catchphrases and hooks, because God knows I don't know them and I don't use them very well. But anyway, if you have something later on in your video and you want people to watch it, Give them a little hook like, hey, stick around till the very end, and then I'll give you that incredible information that you thought you wanted, but you'll eventually find out it was no big deal either. So how do you do this daily, Jesse? How do you upload when all the big YouTubers tell you to upload every week so you don't lose momentum on your good videos? They're probably right. But every time they upload a video with their million subscribers, they automatically get a quarter million views. You have five subscribers and they're just waiting to unsubscribe from your punk ass. By the way, for every three or four subscribers I get, I get one or two that, that quit and disappear. So your subscribers aren't as loyal as you'd like to think. So what can you do about that? Well, you can just stay consistent and try to put up another video because the best way to recover from a shitty video is to put up a slightly less shitty video. 
Let's do another call to action. It's hot out here. Oh, you think because the sun is behind clouds, I'm not capable of sweat? I need you to subscribe. Why? So I can hit a thousand videos and start making 28 cents per video. Come on now, let's go. Give your fans realistic expectations. What do you mean, Jesse? Well, I tell people they can lose 25 to 30 pounds in 90 days. A more realistic approach would be to say, hey, I bet I could help you lose a pound or two over the course of the next year. But that doesn't sound as fun. Take your chances, be wild, go for it. Do you have some life-changing information that you need to share with your viewers? Nope, but you still need to upload something, right? So go to Good News Network, find a good story that you can talk about, and make a video. Take a look at your favorite YouTubers. Take a look at their thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, it's not that great, it's kind of lame, but for some reason it works for them. So go ahead and take their picture off their thumbnail, put yours on there, change a couple words, boom, there you go. So remember, the key to getting monetized without going viral is you don't want your, ch you don't want your videos to be too good. God forbid people actually make your video go viral. God damn it, what is the secret? Here's something kind of crazy. Because I've done a video every day for the past five months, I've got 150 videos up. Would you believe it if I told you my very first one was the best? So what's that mean? Even though I upload every day, you should make your first video really count. Do a good thumbnail, do a great title, promise a little bit more than you can deliver, because let's be honest, when you're doing your first video, you're not gonna be delivering shit, right? You're kind of like Grubhub, where they eat your food before it gets to you. And then they still expect a tip to get it to you quick. I don't You're gonna wanna quit, despite all the tips that I've given you. And believe me, if you quit, your subs will thank you later. <laughs> and it's because of that that you don't want to quit. Don't let them off the hook. Make them unsub from you. Don't leave it where there's no reason for them to watch your videos. Upload something consistently. If you feel like you suck at what you're doing, think about doing a change sooner rather than later. But remember, your first year, you're probably going to suck. You want to be able to walk in the footsteps of great YouTubers like Mr. Never mind, you don't want to walk in that guy's footsteps, but either way, you know what I'm saying. You want to be dedicated and be okay with sucking for your first couple years because believe me, you're going to suck for at least three years. And every time you do a show that's not in your niche, there's a chance that it could backfire. So believe it or not, while I'm teaching you and trying to show you really good ways on how to become a good YouTuber that monetizes without going viral, I'm sure I'll get a couple of walkers slash venters that'll end up unsubscribing because how dare I tell you guys the secrets? God, what I put up for you people. Sometimes it's gonna be too cold to do a video. Sometimes it's gonna be too warm. What you need to have is a plan B. I'm a walker, so I need to be prepared with an umbrella. I don't have a damn umbrella and it's starting to rain. Remember, the most important thing is to hit record. No, seriously, I can't tell you how many walks I've taken where I forgot to hit the damn record button. Make sure you hit the record button and don't give up. You're gonna wanna give up all the time. Remember, you're asking your viewers not to give up on you. So the last thing you wanna do is give up on yourself. And I really am a trooper. I walk every day. And if I get blisters, I take off the shoes and walk barefoot. Ow! Can you do that? No. So there's going to be a lot of comments that say uploading daily is ridiculous. And this YouTuber is not even that great. But just remember, as long as they're watching, I win. Don't pay to have your show advertised. Might seem like a good idea, but from what I understand, it's not. You want to take your lumps. For your first six months to a year, give yourself an easy goal. Seriously, like half a dozen to a dozen subscribers. That way, when you smash through that wall, the rest of the year will be fruitful and a success, even though it doesn't always feel like a success. Anyway, I wish you a wonderful day. You can do this. Hit record. Start your YouTube channel. Things are going to be awesome for you. Good luck.